over his four missions and over a decade as an astronaut, Bluefield clocked over 688 hours in space. The colorful like theater. Oh my god. Today guys, I'm going to teach you about somebody completely out of this world. A man that has been to the final frontier and seen space with his own eyes. The first African American astronaut, Guillaume Bluford, or you can call him Guy and Bluford. Before we get into this video guys, I need you to do one little bit. Make sure you smash the thumbs up and subscribe the button down below. Although he's not the first astronaut of African descent because that would be Cuban astronaut Arnaldo Tomeo Mendez. Bluford was the first African American in space and had an incredible career in the American Air Force, aerospace engineering and in NASA. Guillaume Stewart Bluford Jr was born on November the 22nd, 1942 in Philadelphia. He was really active and a smart man. He went to study aerospace engineering, which is the study of the science behind aeroplanes and space shuttles at Pennsylvania State University. He then went to study a master's degree in science in the Air Force Institute of Technology. After he's got his doctorate in aerospace engineering with a minor in late science. <laughs> I'm going to get you guys. Where are you? Whoa, those lasers are powerful. Bucky, this laser! Wow, guys, that's a lot of schooling, guys. Before Bluefoot joined NASA, which is the National Aeronautics and Space Administration and better known as an American Space Program. He was part of the Air Force as a fighter pilot from when he got his pilot wins in 1966 to when he joined NASA in 1979. In that time he managed to reach the rank of officer and later Cornell and flew a total of 144 combat missions 65 of which were in the Vietnam War so long before Bluford went to space he was well used to be very high off the ground I don't think I'm used to be way up in the air well <laughs> in August 1979 Bluford joined NASA and spent four years with helping them with their technology. That's right, Raya, whether that be with the RMS, which is the remote manipulator system, the very cool robotic arm that's attached to the space stations used to move stuff around remotely, or with the SAIL or shuttle avionics integration laboratory, a flight simulator used to train astronauts flying into space. In total, Bluford flew four missions into space. The first one in 1983 on the Orbiter Challenger. 
Then in 1985, on the largest space crew mission at the time. And again in 1991, on the orbit of Discovery, before his first mission in 1992, with the Department of Defense. Over his four missions and over a decade as an astronaut, Bluefield cropped over 688 hours in space. They can't even, like, they have to... Oh my god. Uh, can he even live in space for that long? That's so close to two years. Do they even have enough food? Oh my god. If I went to space, then I'll have less food because we don't even have a big fridge. Blue Food left NASA in 1993 to date the position of five president of the Engineering Services Department at MYMA Inc. He was later added to the International Space Hall of Fame in 1997 and the United States Astronaut Hall of Fame in 2010. So there you have it guys. All you need to know about the incredible American astronaut who is the first American astronaut to be in space. Well, actually, the first African-American astronaut uh, to African be in space. African-American. <laughs> and his name is Dr. Guillaume Bluefield, guys. Don't you think he is totally out of this world? So, thank you guys for watching our video. And I hope you like watching this video on kids. button down below and give it a smash the thumbs up don't forget it to give it extra subscribe the button down below and an extra smash the thumbs up and don't forget to watch all our other episodes of here's my kisses and rare thumbs up well guys i'll see you in the next video bye guys Bye guys, bye, bye, peace, love ya fans.